couple things about about things that you've you've done on the campaign trail. Joe Biden, as we all know, has worked to overcome a stutter. Uh, and one of the speakers at the Democratic convention was a, a young boy who the vice president inspired named Braden Harrington. Uh, take a listen. It was really amazing to hear that someone like me became vice Braden Harrington, a very brave young boy. You made this comment earlier in the campaign about Joe Biden. Let's take a listen to that. Every time he comes on stage or they turn to him, I'm like, Joe, can you get it out? Let's get the words out, Joe. You kind of feel bad for him. How do you think it makes little kids with stutters feel when they see you make a comment like that? Fuck you. First and foremost, I had no idea that Joe Biden ever suffered from a stutter. I think what we see on stage with Joe Biden, Jake, is very clearly a cognitive decline. Okay. That's what I'm referring to. It makes me uncomfortable. You have you are no app, you have, this, I can't, this is so questions. amazing. It's so amazing to me and, that, and, that and try and figure an answer a cognitive decline. Well, when you're trying to you, tell you, me that what I was suggesting was I a think that you were mocking his stutter. No idea, yeah, I think you were mocking his stutter, well, and I think you have absolutely no standing to diagnose wow. somebody's cognitive decline. You don't have any standing to say. Noticing him. What I'm saying, Jake, is that about we a cognitive decline. see that Joe I, Biden I, I, I is have one last question for you, Laura. You can't. You, times on stage. That this could be the leader of the free world. Okay. That is all I'm saying. I genuinely Thank you, feel Laura sorry Trump. for Joe Biden. At I appreciate it. I'm sure it was from a place of concern. We all we all believe that. Laura Trump. Thank you so much. What the hell was that? Welcome back, everyone. Quickly, before we get started, I just wanted to thank all my Patreon and Subscribestar subscribers. If you would like to support this channel and join the Drone Tech Politics community, you can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Okay, so Jake Tapper continues to be a pathetic hack for the Joe Biden campaign. I mean, oh my God, what did we just witness here? I mean, it's something I would expect to see from the pro-Saddam media, which would be all of them, in Iraq during the Saddam reign. It's just dishonest, appeal-to-emotion propaganda meant to frame Joe Biden as a hero and Trump as a meanie. And in the most deceptive, most misleading terms possible. I'm going to break it all down for you. But first, let us all just take a quick moment as freedom-loving capitalists to hear about this special offer from this episode's sponsor, My Patriots. Supply. When you see what's going on in our country right now, there's plenty to be concerned about. Social unrest is making life very uncomfortable and it could quickly get worse. These are realistic dangers, so don't let yourself be caught unprepared. Here's what to do right now. Go to www.preparewithdronetech.com and start building your emergency food supply today. The experts at My Patriot Supply are the only people I trust and use. And right now, you can save $100 off a full four-week supply of delicious, nutritious meals the whole family will love. My Patriot Supply makes it easy to be prepared at all times. And saving $100 off a life-saving four-week supply of food is too good to pass up. The second half of 2020 is gonna be wild. So go to preparewithdronetech.com and get ready right now. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Do it now. A few couple things about, about things that you've, you've done on the campaign trail. Joe Biden, as we all know, has worked to overcome a stutter. Uh, and one of the speakers at the Democratic convention was a, a young boy who the vice president inspired named Braden Harrington. Uh, take a listen. Braden Harrington, a very brave young boy. You made this comment earlier in the campaign about Joe Biden. Let's take a listen to that. Every time he comes on stage or they turn to him, I'm like, Joe, can you get it out? Let's get the words out, Joe. You kind of feel bad for him. How do you think it makes little kids with stutters feel when they see you make a comment like that? Say what? I mean, I feel like I'm watching a news parody from a slapstick comedy or one of the Kent Brockman news broadcasts on The Simpsons. That's just how bad things have gotten in our once free press. So I have several questions for Jake Fapper and CNN. One, why are you bringing a kid into this? I mean, really? It's a rhetorical question because it's obvious that you're using this kid as a shield or a prop for the Biden campaign. The Democrats and their media love to put forward political spokespeople for their agenda that have an identity that they can use as a shield against criticism. For example, kids. 
so that when critics come forward with criticism, the media can attack them for daring to criticize children. What's Jake Tapper's agenda here? I think that we all know the answer to that question. Jake Tapper's agenda is the Democrat Party's agenda, and that's to get Joe Biden elected. One of Joe Biden's big problems is his rambling incoherence and the crazy shit that comes out of his mouth like this. We've never allowed any crisis from the Civil War straight through to the pandemic of 17, all the way around 16. We have never, never let our democracy Sake second fiddle way that we can both have a democracy and elections and at the same time correct the public health. I'm Jill Biden's husband. I work for Cedric Richmond. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. Look me over. If you like what you see, help out. If not, vote for the other guy. Give me a look, though, okay? We choose truth over facts. You're a lying dog faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. That's my little sister, Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. I'm beginning to see why your wife left you. Why, 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 why? Um, You know, there's a, uh, during World War II, uh, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that, uh, you know, was totally different than a, than the, the it's called, he called it the, you know, the World War II, he had the war, the, the war production board. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn, uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down but I'm looking forward to this man you walk behind me in a debate come here man my name's Joe Biden I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids we choose science over fiction we choose truth over facts think about it we hold these truths to be self-evident all men and women created by the go you know the you know the thing i believe this every fiber of my being we're posed i what i propose is is it can be done i think we're in a position to to really make it happen and my team and your team are already working closely together and like to light up the path forward here critical laws like the pro act to strengthen collective bargaining on politics like prevailing and for, look I guess I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm t taking too much time, but. Watching. Prepared to say that I have a record of over 40 years and that I'm going to beat Joe Biden. By the way, it's my little sister, Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. Oh no, this is, oh, you switched on me. This is my wife, this is my sister. It's because if we lose them, mm -hmm. we are in real, real trouble. We should be. We should be making those masks. We should be moving on those ventilators. We can do that. Why doesn't mm -hmm. he just act like a president? That's a stupid way to say you it. You know, I Donald guess, Trump was really asked on... He... Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I probably best I don't. Jake Tapper and even elements of our own government are coordinating to answer Biden's apparent issues with coherence by claiming that, A, it's the Russians. Anytime you see or hear anything bad about Joe Biden, it was the Russians. And B, if you think that Joe Biden has mental problems, well, that just means that you hate kids with stutters. She didn't even say anything about stuttering. She just said what many, many, many other people have said going back to before Trump was even running for president. Hell, Van Jones said exactly this after Biden's Democrat convention speech. And that sound that you hear all across the country is the sound of Democrats exhaling. That's what that is. We, people would, would have accepted anything. We just wanted Joe to get out there. So, you know, sometimes when he gets out there, you're afraid he's going to make a mistake. He's going to have a gaffe. The, the set expectations are just so low. And, then, and we were prepared for it to be a terrible speech. As long as he didn't embarrass himself, we were going to come out here and praise it. You don't have to make nothing up tonight. This just makes my blood boil. I knew that there was a reason that Blitzer ambushed Pelosi with actual tough questions the other day. Because as we know, that rarely happens to Democrats. Pelosi went berserk because she's not used to that and wasn't expecting it. But they occasionally do things like this for the purposes of plausible deniability so that they can execute brazen, politically partisan attack jobs like this. First and foremost, I had no idea 
that Joe Biden ever suffered from a stutter. I think what we see on stage with Joe Biden, Jake, is very clearly a cognitive decline. Okay. That's what I'm referring to. It makes me uncomfortable. You have you are no ab you have, is, I can't, for this is so amazing. It's so amazing to me and, that, and, that and try and figure answer a cognitive decline. Well, when you're trying you, to you, tell you, me that what I was suggesting was I a think stuttering, that you were mocking I his no stutter. Idea, Joe Biden. Yeah, I think you were mocking his stutter, oh, and I think you have absolutely no standing to diagnose no. somebody's cognitive decline. You don't have any standing I'm not to say diagnosing him. What I'm saying, Jake, you just talked is about that a cognitive decline. That Joe I, Biden I, I, I is have one last question for you, Laura. You can't. You, times on stage, that this could be the leader of the free world. Okay. That is all I'm saying. I genuinely Thank you, feel Laura sorry Trump. for Joe Biden. At I appreciate it. I'm sure it was from a place of concern. We all we all believe that. Laura Trump, thank you so much. Oh my God, she talked about Joe Biden's cognitive decline. I mean, as we all know, the state says you're not allowed to do that. Here again, we see this DNC media tactic of making things that are completely normal seem like they're outside the bounds of normalcy. Tapper should get an Academy Award because this is a straight up theatrical performance. He must be getting a damn good paycheck or someone has something on him because any credibility this clown had is long gone. For the last four years, CNN and the other trash networks have been parading around these supposed doctors to claim that Trump is crazy or even worse than Stalin and Mao. In conclusion, I don't understand why any Republican or anybody from the Trump campaign would ever bother going on to CNN where they have to deal with these two-bit bullshit slingers like Mr. Jake Fapper. The undeniable truth here is that Joe Biden has been displaying signs of what looks like a cognitive decline and Jake Tapper nor CNN or the Democrats have any response to it. There are countless videos of Joe Biden rambling incoherently, saying weird things and just acting crazy. So it's not like this is even remotely disputable. Hence the in-your-face gaslighting. They're desperate and not acting like people who are confident Joe Biden is going to win. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.